Hello people, I hope you guys are doing absolutely well wherever you are today. I am back with another subjective topic which is nothing but related to the gaming in particularly and specifically more about Indian gaming community and its ecosystem. Well, if we talk about gaming in general all around the world, you would just get to see how diverse gaming experiences are and the world is completely brimming with the experiences coming from all different type of uh, games, all different type of people from all different parts of the world. However, there's a peculiar trend that has gripped the Indian gaming community in particular. They seem to be just stuck with one game whenever they play a game for the sake of gaming. Like for an example, if it is about just the CSGO, then it's it. If GTA 5, then that's it. If that is for G BGMI, that's it. If that is for Free Fire, that's it. That's all the definition of gaming, I guess. That's where it ends. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I think, I personally think that people tend to get stuck into it. One is financial reasons. Second is obligations towards just having that one particular game, making it as your main content, as your main source of everything for those who are already trying to create something. So already established, by the way, for a person who is still trying to grow, maybe this method might tend to work. Now I'll explain that how. So this, are this, this, this is the second reason. Now third is somebody who just can't afford to play something better than these games because of, of course, lacking of the you know configurations all because of that he or she might just not be able to play some better titles even if they want it so that third category of people can still be excused saying that well that is something very genuine now the second category is the first one that i would like to explain slightly for those people who are trying to create something out of the game or has already been creating related to gaming and then like has somehow established themselves with one particular thing the first category of people who are trying to make something out of that game quite acceptable if that game has a reach you would try to gain some loyal audience from that game who can actually help you grow in the journey of your content creation in the gaming field quite okay with it and i guess people being as an audience must also respect this factor that at the very beginning of the stages people who are at least trying to make something out of whatever they have they might be very limited with money resources and everything but still if they try i really respect that kind of people who try at least and second category of people who have actually made tremendous uh, like transformation of their life out of that game they have now a lo loyal community it's a family now big family the huge family and not only from the youtube but they're also earning from the uh, brandings collaborations and all that stuff i think this kind of this kind of people should really come up with a realization that they should stop being a puppet of one game at a time instead they should bring more vibrancy into the network, in, in the internet, so that their audience learn about it, they know about it, and then come up with a realization. But I don't see that happening. They're just pushing everyone to the same rat hole again and again, just for the sake of get, yielding more money out of that game. All because they have already established thing. They think that is something which is okay to do it. And the, the audience doesn't even question. That's the problem there. Now this is where I think the people watching them should question or should challenge about newer choices. They must take newer choices. Only then, only then the, the guy or the person, whoever is creating such things might feel the necessary necessity of changing because now that they have a loyal audience, loyal network, I think changing shouldn't be that scary for them at all. And one has to take that confidence to keep on changing things in a certain way, not and if not entirely then. Now, this obligation could be obligated again with another thing that is like contractual uh, partnerships and all that stuff. That is a different professional thing. But I'm talking about those people who are uh, playing it for a casual fun, but eventually they have got that kind of stature in their creation field. Okay. And the first category of people who are just obligated by financial restrictions of course, uh, this kind of people, they should rather think about meeting their challenge of financial uh, requirements. Because after all, it's life is realistic. Life has, to, I think, uh, in my opinion, life is supposed to be realistic. Like one has to tackle it realistically. I didn't even have whatever I had have today before. It only happened in a span of time after some you know, proper calculation and then planning and all that stuff. So today, anybody who might want to just go come into gaming might not have that kind of 
uh, opportunities in terms of money, in terms of resources, no problem. But there should be a vision, planning and execution. Only then that thing is achievable for the first kind of people and for the end people like who already have somehow manageable resources and they are into it and certainly sadly they can't try anything more only for those a slight suggestion is there look buddy if it is only about one game which your device can support there are many other games as well which you can try out and if you come out with the argument that i like this game so much well just imagine yourself playing one particular game for innumerable hours and then you don't get out of that anything but you are just contributing to people who make anything related to that thing just imagine how stupid it would look like so if you are thinking that like okay i have this whatever i have but i'm i'm trying to make something out of it and uh, but it, it's gonna be just this game i think it is going towards something very worst try to realize what is going on wrong there and if i talk about the market the uh, the possibility of uh, gaming in general in india it's vast it's vast it's huge but then there are no player bases for many of the triple t- good titles triple good titles also for some indie games even for the local developers it doesn't even that get that kind of opportunity that this so called games that have been played like that is being played on a mass level those triple titles doesn't even get that kind of you uh, know respect and then attention despite being much much better than that so called hyped games okay now with that there's a uh, more limitation that comes into the ground which again obstructs for many people who actually might play that games it's not like everyone just keeps that kind of same mentality no there are some people who actually have everything in a mid range they can afford they can try out things but that's where this challenge with the in game resources comes in since the games that these people might be playing games such as call of duty warzone um, or maybe tarkov or anything which is server based game it's an online game it might just not be that efficient that might not be that smooth in terms of gaming experience because we don't have the servers here closest servers well even when you try to you know go and join any of the servers available there it might it might just put you with such a high latency that you might not be able to enjoy the fullest of the game even despite having a good configuration that is one thing second since there is no player base those industries they might they are less interested to even you know conduct some kind of events or anything related to it where you could actually have a scope of earning something out of it on a real sense if you are that skilled or that good in that game so for that we need infrastructure first of all and second is the investment of course from them and unless we have a player base for those kind of games how are we even going to be on that level with the global players like people out there they are they are having more opportunities more you know you know recognitions through this larger games and the third aspect of it comes with the regulations of this kind of games of course if they if there would be more games more players uh, i think regulations also come along with it because the way we have seen how pubg has terribly messed things up in a certain way in the past everyone now thinks that okay there should be someone who regulates all this thing but then in in the recent time there has been some significant changes related to gaming is concerned government have also just decided to bring up a regulation which says uh now online gamings will have to bear a tax of tax of gst tax of 28% i guess if i'm not wrong and so far it is only being said for online gambling games not video games but nowhere in the news is whenever you see it it is clearly mentioned nowhere it is clearly mentioned that is it is only for gambling but somewhere if you look people who have researched and analyzed the news they do say it that it's not for video games so far but who knows they might just come up with an idea to slap okay uh, tomorrow maybe if the, the whatever game the bgm i free fire whatever it is today people are playing like crazy if tournament happens and someone you know wins something out of it if if the people sitting out there in, is not in the right mind they might just come up with an uh, understanding of saying no no since for now it is considered as an online gaming we will slap the same kind of tax slap for this too then you are done then you are completely done there so why i'm saying this is because there are no proper knowledgeable people sitting out there in the regulatory bodies and we don't even have that kind of specific regulatory bodies to monitor and to uh, you know regulate different type of games because 
not all games are same after all every games functions in a way every games theme is different so i think until and unless the general audience general people like you and me get aware about this kind of scenarios this kind of subjectivities about this games who else would be there sitting there up there uh, in the regulatory bodies if you imagine that okay some educated bureaucrat is going to be so much aware about games and they would might make similar good policies for us too you are living in a dark hole buddy that's not how things work i guess they may be educated but since they don't have that kind of exposure since the very beginning of their life you cannot expect even the most smartest of the smartest people sitting out there in the authority to do the best for you to the to do the best for the gaming industry in particular so that many more budding uh, you know con- content creators or many more aspiring athletes the esport athletes they can get benefit out of it they might not be aware that what kind of actions can benefit the people sitting common people sitting out here so that's why it must come from within us itself we must understand that part of responsibility as well that to guide the government to su- to send suggestions if required so i believe that might be happening somewhere or the other but still it should come more vastly so that government must understand or must must make some realistic uh, rules whenever they think to make something and apart from that next comes with uh, your way of purchasing games where games are too costly in a way i mean it's not only for this part of the world but anywhere as long as we have to put real money into it of course we have to think about it wisely should i should i not is it worth it is it not worth it but at the same time always carrying a mentality of getting things free f r w e free it's not good because after all if you look from a from a from a very wide you know wide perspective you see that game is being developed by a certain number of people they have put their effort into it hours and hours of sleepless nights i believe calculations planning's imaginations all sort of creativity you can imagine a person who is passionate enough to work like that will only put that much of effort into it and then now you imagine you just someone sitting out there uh, expecting the game to be turning out to be a free platter for you to be served in your computer now that could be enjoyable at one side but then also along with it comes many more challenging factors you try to download cracked games from here and there and maybe in that process you might just have to do extra hassle and all that nonsense stuff isn't that too much so instead of that if one can already afford uh like of course a guy who has ps5 these people luckily luckily people who play on ps5 they have to buy games of course so these people sadly cannot play cracked games but then again people who have bought uh, like good gaming pcs they i think this this category of people must realize that no not all games should be purchased not all games must be downloaded from the cracked website after all some games are not worthy purchasing i'm not biased but some games are not for sure so if you are having i mean i'm not supporting that way of approach but still if you think you want to try that and people are commenting about about it so much about its storyline and all that blah blah stuff you might just can give a try if that is not that worth it but if some games are too great enough and you still think that is going to be available for cracked version i think that is the most foolish way to do it because i have seen many people out there questioning me sometimes where did you get this get this game the call of duty modern warfare 2 modern warfare 2009 or maybe some other call of duties which i have in my playlist well see it's costly games but then it's not always the same price right i i guess this this should be into people's knowledge that gaming purchasing games is just similar to like you are purchasing any other online commodities you can wish list it you can see the prices on a real time basis keep track whenever there is a offer in the website you could check out different other uh, websites which uh, sells keys of these games could be they they could be selling it much cheaper than the steam if it is cheaper than buy it in that website and redeem it in your steam or if it is selling it uh, cheaper in steam then buy it there or in another way some games do also come uh, with x x xbox uh, game pass 
you can try that as well also for those who like games related to ubisoft you might also try uh, want you know try out taking a game pass in ubisoft ubisoft subscription plus which is which you can either take it for one month or maybe two months as per your com convenience like if you think okay i'm gonna uh, take it for two months and try out whatever games are available in ubisoft plus subscription and within that two months if it is possible for you to try out that games you can try out all the available games in that subscription within that subscription period now it is under your control as well that anytime you want you can cancel the subscription and keep it keep it closed for a you know uh, for a quite span of time nobody's forcing you to carry on with the subscription if you are not willing to buy a game for permanently but if you can already afford the game why go for cracked after all you are again losing some aspect of that gameplay although you would be playing campaign but then i don't think so just playing campaigns is going to make you develop your other side of the gaming aspect as far as the indian gaming community is concerned i'm not talking about the rest of the world because those people are way ahead in terms of these things i mean you would even see a 10 year old kid in 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 some kind of games which you might not be expecting to meet a kid okay and when you have conversations with that kid you will realize the kind of difference we certainly have here and this is the kind of realization that i think should come at the very early stages of now because there is no point of realizing it later on or gradually thinking that oh come on eventually everybody is going to realize about it no still i see that kind of ship mentality going on and as soon as the call the pubg mobile has been launched again in 2023 the same the same trap is being opened here and there again shots are flooding in with the uh, same kind of gameplay footages which doesn't even have a concept but then some random song would be playing behind it some cringe random song it doesn't have any relevance to that gameplay video which is being shown it's neither a tips and tricks and nothing not a proper visualization of something which is very special about that game after all bgmi or free fire what game is it even if it's a it's, it's a battle royale there's many more good battle royale games out there and why not why not people play i don't i don't understand uh, these people who have already good pcs why are you stuck with this game still even though if it is launched back why are you not trying to even promote pubg pc if you are that much crazy about pubg in particularly and the the franchise particularly and then the uh, battle royale concept if that is concerned so well that's a that's the mass question that comes up in my mind every time i observe around things and definitely this needs a serious introspection from all levels of players like be it you are mob mobile players be it you are just someone who wants to play games but then you still don't have that kind of resources everyone everyone has a role to play into this field small or large everyone has a role to play so we've all got to think introspect the introspection comes from within once that in introspection comes from within you would start looking ways to fix it or maybe to address in a certain way i hope this message goes clear and loud for whoever was thinking that okay this is how community is built this is how gaming community is supposed to be and i'm sure many of this facts which i have just mentioned might just go off the head from somebody uh, like somebody might just don't get it okay what what this guy is blabbering about well if you put a little bit patience to listen this properly maybe you would get it what i'm trying to project out of this entire conversation and of course if this changes there is going to be more opportunities there is go going to be more inter uh, connectedness with other communities from other parts of the world right now the indian gaming community is still so inferior so so inferior there is no point of comparison nowhere at all nowhere and this is the reality it's like it or not it's the reality that we have to accept about ourselves wherever we are lacking we, we got to fix it because if we talk about the global uh, growth in several other aspects of uh, dimensions things are growing and in in some aspects we are also doing much better than the other countries but at the same time we sometimes try to compete with china as a as a as a neighbors in terms of everything if you just look at the aspect of their population they all they they have their population being contributing like taking interest taking part in almost everywhere like everywhere every aspects of life you could see around well sadly uh, this one is quite a different one 
where you require certain equipments items and everything all that stuff but then as i said this all can be this all can be mitigated this way or that way with 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 a right approach and with a thoughtful uh, idea in the mind with a vision of course this all things are required without any vision without any thought just thinking that oh i'm going to play games that's not going to work that's not how i think communities are built i hope uh, whoever have listened these things up till here you would consider leaving a like and thanks for watching have a good day